What's going on? Average Tech Guy here. Today we are back. More tech, more reviews. And I believe this is my first video of 2022. And you know, I got to start off with iPad videos. Of course, what else would I be talking about? But today we're going to be looking at the paper like screen protector, the original paper like screen protector. Um, I had a couple of issues with this last year and I thought I'd revisit it. And this has really been one of my favorite screen protectors that I've been using for the past few weeks. So let's talk about it. All right, so you picked up your iPad, you got a screen protector, but you say, hey, that screen protector just does not allow me to flow like I want to, like you're writing on the screen. And if you have not tried paper, like I suggest you probably check it out because it does make your device feel like you are writing on paper and it does not like visually impair your videos or anything like that. We're going to do full test quality test. I'll show you how all that's going to work, but this is the package that you will receive. It actually comes with two screen protectors in here. That's one of the biggest things. So 40 bucks is going to get you two of these screen protectors. Now this one is infused with the nano dots. This is their latest model. Um, and yeah, that's, I mean, it's, it's probably one of the best that I've used. So I'm not doing a full unboxing and full installation. If you want to know how to install it, they actually have videos on how to do that on their website. So I'm going to redirect you there for all that. I put it on, I've been doing these for a long time. So that's, um, pretty much an easy little task to do, but if you do need help, they have tons of help online. So here we go. Now I want you to notice the clarity. First off, this is the clarity that you get and notice it doesn't hinder the screen any like no lag, no nothing. Still effective, still efficient. I do have a case on here. This case is from the company Zugu, as you can see right there. And Zugu is probably my favorite case for your iPad. And one of the biggest things about using this with this whole setup for your screen protector is even though it's flush to that screen protector, you're not getting any interference. You're not getting any bubbles, no nothing. So yeah, no bubbles, no nothing either side, no matter which way you flip it, no bubbles on this. It doesn't push up the screen protector, so you don't have to worry about that. That is a plus. So what I'm gonna do is flip over to the notes application and we've been taking some notes here, but let's go ahead and draw that line and make it definitive for this page. And let's just, let's just write a few things because, well, first off, let's listen to the sound because I'm gonna hold this up If you heard that, that's as loud as it will get. Like it really feels like and sounds like you're writing on a piece of paper. And when you're taking notes, everything feels good. It's nice and smooth when you're writing. There are really no issues with this screen protector. I really recommend um, using one of these. I'm going to to show off some of Apple's features as far as thought bubble, as far as iOS or iPad OS goes, you can actually do these different little uh, shapes and of course that one didn't work. Let's see if we can. Okay. Well, they don't always come out exactly like you want them, but for the most part, you are going to get all those features. So you just kind of got to use like you got to be on point when you draw the shapes to kind of get it to what you want it to be. But that feature does work. There are no issues there and erasing just as easy as writing when you're using this device. 
Now, a lot of people do have questions about apps such as Procreate. One of my favorite applications is just kind of draw and doodle in. And you can, like if you're good at Procreate, you can do some really ingenious stuff. I just doodle, that's all I do. So if you're just somebody who likes to sketch and doodle from time to time, just have at it. Um, those same shape features work in Procreate though. So you can come in and do the exact same thing, or you can just like freehand, draw your own stuff, and then you're good to go. Either way, drawing, writing, all that stuff, really smooth. There are no issues there. And I like the fact that if you need to erase, it's just as smooth as writing. So I like all these features and let's say we want to erase some of that. Boom. And you see, that is as loud as it gets. So it's not gonna disturb you any, you're not gonna have any major issues uh, while you're writing, while you're erasing, everything is really smooth, really fluid, and this like is probably one of the most premium experiences you can get as far as writing on your iPad. So if you're a student, if you need to take notes, do anything of that nature, it's gonna look good, it's gonna feel good, it's going to be extra comfortable. And then, and then, let's just um, check out a video just to see how the quality looks. You don't need sound. I'm going to turn up the brightness a little bit. Quality is still there. There's no pixelated issues. Um, there's no like rainbow color effects. None of that. Everything looks clear and vivid with this paper light screen protector. Um, I've had no issues while using it and I don't really think you guys will have an issue either. This basically comes for every size iPad out there. So no matter what size iPad you have, you can go by their website. So I'm gonna drop a link below so you can go by and check this paper light screen out for yourself. Hopefully this has been able to help someone out. Until next time, be sure and give me that big thumbs up and please subscribe. Average Tech Guy out, peace.